I'm Mike Sullivan. And I'm Lauren Sullivan. Okay, here's the situation. You're around the green. You've got a, a basic little pitch shot. You want to loft it on the green and then have the ball kind of stop near the hole. Right. Most people would take out their sandwich. Yes. How, how, what are, how do you feel about that? What is going on inside of you Zero mentally? confidence. <laughs> Zero confidence. So if you are lacking confidence in this shot, I'm going to help you maybe change your strategy a little bit so you can hit it better. All right, is this the shot? This is the shot. Let's do it. Now, ideally, we're chipping it, right? You could putt this. Yeah, you so could So depending putt on your skill level, putting might be a great option here. So let's say, for argument's sake, there's some sort of impediment in the way that we need to get over. Yeah, or you know, you wanna play a little higher skilled shot and carry the ball in the green. So right. most people, most recreational golfers are gonna pull out a sand wedge, or here we've got a 56 degree wedge. Yep. 56 degree and sand wedge. try to get it in the air and land soft. Yeah. So I think most people are trying to hit this shot. Should take my time with that more. But. but in order to do that, we've got to really accelerate through the shot. We've got to hit it pretty fast. We've got to put a lot of energy into it in order to get it up high. Yeah. Enough. You have to use more speed and energy to get the ball up. So if you hit it bad, A little thin. I was. Right. I made sure nobody was standing over there. Good. Okay. So right. you hit so, it bad. It can get really ugly. Yeah. Now, by the way, if you're if you're really skilled, sure hit the shot. I'm sure, Phil, Phil Mickelson would have, be fine hitting the shot all day, right? But here's an easier way to do this. Now, I've got here your pitching wedge and your your. It says a wedge. It's your gap wedge. Mm -hmm. Well, your gap wedge is what your pitching wedge used to be. Okay. And it's just fine, and it's actually preferable to get the ball on the ground sooner and let it roll a little bit. So just go ahead uh, and hit a little pitch shot here using your A wedge and it's just, it's just gonna run out a little bit. Yeah. Now watch what's gonna happen. Yeah, it's gonna go by the hole and that is pretty slick down there, but mm -hmm. you're putting now. Right. So the idea here is that we wanna have our misses be way better mm -hmm. and if you miss that like if you just go ahead and hit a shot don't pay much attention to it and see if we get a little miss out of this right so you chunked it a little bit mm -hmm. but you know, actually turned out better <laughs> right so the around the greens the less loft you use the less skill you need and by going with the gap wedge more often and practicing with it you're going to find that you can definitely reduce some of the disaster bad shots and you will probably actually do better overall getting the ball close to the And hole. so this wedge is probably between 50 and 52 degrees, right? I'm not positive. This is, your, your irons are somewhat of a game improvement iron, so I'm not positive on that. It's probably, I'll bet it's a little bit under 50 degrees, that particular club. Okay. Yeah, I'll bet it's a little bit under 50 degrees. Okay. And then your sandwich is probably a stronger sandwich, which is why we switched you to the 56 degree sandwich. And I, my pitching wedge is probably 44 degrees. Something like that. Yeah. 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 Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.